Do I not like stupid? I think I'm snake shit. And I still smoke. She said, Are you lying to me? I said, No. I'm dead ass lying. I'm like, No. So as y'all can see from the title, I'm be doing a seafood mukbang. I ordered some seafood from Juicy Crab. Also gonna be telling you guys a story time. Ooh, I just wanna get digger. I got some sausages, y'all. And when I tell you I didn't put so much sausages, why they only gave me one glove? Like, but before we get into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on the gram at Marie underscore. So today I'm going to be telling y'all a juicy story time on how my mom found out I was smoking marijuana. <laughs> marijuana. Woo! I can't wait to get digging. Look at this big pill. Y'all, I got extra hot and it's like spicy. <laughs> yeah. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> anyway, you did a good job, right? You Sarah? did good. I got the okay. light. Okay, look at the little Christmassy going yeah. on here. Okay, like okay. Christmas okay. over, but it's alright. Oh, you sounds really good. I'm gonna put y'all on a backstory on how I really started smoking. I mean, let me pause eating real quick. Let me eat the sausage. I was with my cousin, and my cousin used to smoke. But let me tell y'all a backstory. So it was my cousin, and she had a homegirl, like a homegirl. We still cool with to this day. We still text, you know, and stuff like that. But all my cousins is older than me. They like, because I always hang out with older people. I just like hanging out with older people. I feel like it's better, and they teach you more, and you learn more. But <clears throat> I was with her, and she was on some, ooh, but she had a homegirl. She was the only smoker out of all of us, and she went. And she told me one day, like, come in the hallway with me. I don't want to be by myself. And mind you, my cousin, she had asthma. She didn't want to be around her at the time. <clears throat> so she she didn't want to go with her. So I had went with her, and I came with her. And she was like, you want a pool? And I, I was like, yeah. Like, I always was interested in trying it. It was like no force or nothing like that because she was older than me, and they loved me. They looked at me as their daughter, so it was nothing like that. Um, not their daughter, but, like, sister. Because they was, like, 18. I was, like, 13. But, um, yeah, she, that's how I all started. She asked me if I want to pull. I was like, yeah. And she was like, don't tell Liana, which is my cousin. And I was like, all right, I'm not going to tell her. We went back in the room. I'm high as a cat. I go straight to sleep. Off of one pool, my job, I go straight to sleep. So fast forward, I'm in high school. Now the only thing I'm really taking is edible because you can't smoke in high school, but you could get high in high school because people sell an edible. So that's what I was doing. I was, um... I was taking, I was buying edibles. They used to be like $10. Everybody used to sell them. And we all used to take them during like the day. We would take them like during lunchtime. And then we'll be high throughout the whole day. And then we go home. And you know, we are regular. We back to regular. That stepdad that was like a weird, like he knew all that stuff. So it was like everybody knew what stuff. So I never came home like on some high stuff. Because I also had to pick up my baby sister after school. So I make sure I take it early so I could already be. You know, it already be done for. I could already be back so normal. And y'all know an edible take a hour with a kick in and something like that. So I used to take them and I had the iPhone 6S, I think. 6S Plus, I think. I had the iPhone and I had a snap. My mom didn't allow me to have snaps, so I used to delete it when I got home. I would just have it during school. Like, I will just have it, you know? So damn yeah so all that juice squirt but anyway so i recorded it we, me and my friend was taking an edible we were recording it all that my mom found out about my snack that could be a whole different um story time if y'all want that story time let me know in the comments down below so my mom knew she found out i had snack and she like that are you taking edibles what happened a whole bunch of shit that's a whole nother story time let me know if y'all want that but she took my phone i don't even know 
how long I got my phone taken away for. A long, 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 long time. Anyway, time go by. Summertime come. I'm in 10th grade, I think. 10th or 11th grade, I am. Yeah, I think it was. 10th or 11th grade. And we go to Bushwick, which is my hood. With all my homegirls, stuff like that. Mind you, all of them smoke. I'm not a smoker at this point. I smoked that one time, and that was it. So I don't know how to smoke. But I want to smoke. I be stressed out. Shoot. They were smoking. I went with them. And they said, you, want, you know, they passed to me. Because I'm in this group. They're going to pass it to me. I just took a pool, but I didn't know how to smoke. I was smoking like the... Like, I wasn't like, you know, inhaling it the right way. I think I got some clips and videos. I got, I'm going to smoke. I'm going to show y'all how I was smoking before. And my mom never knew I was high. Or nothing because my mom was intoxicated she was drinking she ate rip peep and i was trying not to show it like i ate food and stuff like that trying not to show it if y'all hear it in my voice like i'm congested it's because like i got a little cold but i still gotta get this video done you heard me anyway so yeah so i'm good i'm cooling my aunts found out so they're like you, you high and i'm like yeah like i told them because i trust my aunts like i trust my aunts with everything before i trust them with everything i was closer to them than i was closer to my mom you know what i'm saying but i feel like that was only because they wouldn't punish me or nothing like that my mom would punish me you know what i'm saying rape ah. <laughs> but yeah but they couldn't punish me or nothing like that so and they wouldn't judge i mean not the right words judging because i don't think my mom would judge me but i knew my mother wouldn't allow it or accept it or nothing like that and i knew since they do it like what, what else they gonna say like you smoke too hunger so like she knew she was like oh you know give me that talk like make sure you know who you getting it from because people lace people you know just give me that pep talk that pep talk and not encouraging me to do it but telling me to be careful because they know even if they say like don't do it they know i'm not listening enough you get what i'm saying so it's like they just gave me encouraging words like just be precautious so mind you remember that they knew just remember that they knew the whole time my birthday come we move into our house and everything like that my birthday come and <coughs> it's just spicy <coughs> i put extra high y'all my birthday come. The same day as my birthday. Mind you, me and my mom share birthday, August 6th. We had a housewarming that Saturday, which was August 8th. August 8th. I got videos from that day and all, y'all. I'm putting it up on the screen. It was me and my cousins. Not the same cousins, not the older cousins. The cousins that's my age now. And they smoke, right? So my aunt was the one that was like no matter of fact the day of my birthday we went to the beach in connecticut i was turning 16 it was covid i couldn't do my cruise or whatever my aunt said i'm gonna give you some weed for your birthday we're gonna come over to your thing and i'm gonna give you some weed remember this y'all remember this i'm telling y'all so she came or whatever like that and they stuck to this word mind you none of us knew how to roll up because we're not now i know how to roll you know i'm a little yeah but before i didn't know how to roll so i was like roll it for me like roll it for me <laughs> roll it for me mind you they took us to the store to get puff balls and all that without my mom knowing this one remember this because she was really a snake for this like she really a snake for this anyway uh um, she rolled us up in all y'all. Mind you, it wasn't, she didn't even roll up right. She don't roll better than me because that thing was breaking and all that. But anyway, she rolled up for us and we smoked it, y'all. We didn't smoke it in my mom's backyard. Like, we had walked out so she won't see us. We went upstairs. We got our puff bars, smoking our puff bars. Like everything cool, y'all. Everything cool. We chilling. A couple weeks later, her and my mom fall out. And not nothing because of me. That's a whole nother story time. Not even a story for me to be telling. I mean, I'm a part of it, but still. A couple months past bar, I go to that same no, cousin house that I'm smoking with. And since I thought I could trust my aunt, mind you, at this time, 
I'm speaking to my mom behind my mom's back because my mom don't, don't fuck with her right now. Like, my mother and her are not cool. My mom the type, yes, my mom the type, but to be like, if I don't mess with them, you don't mess with them type thing. Because, like, a loyalty thing to my mom. But I feel like those are my aunts. I trust them. They're not going to make me like they snake chew. You get what I'm saying? That's how I felt. I was wrong, sadly. Yeah, so she knew the whole time I was smoking. Mind you, she's the one that was giving me weed. She was my only supplier because my mother didn't let me go outside. I was trapped in the house, so my mother did not let me go outside. She was my only supplier, literally. So, like, how am I so going to get weed? But anyway, I'm at my cousin's house. Um, we smoking. I have my aunt on his socials. Like, I have on social media. So she saw me not in my house. She saw me high and stuff like that. Now she want to be an aunt because she ain't my grandmother and everybody else. Now she want to be an aunt. Like, um, um, do I? Oh, what she was saying? She was saying some walking stuff. Me and her got into it because I'll sit there and do all that and then we'll play auntie of the year because you're not. We already built that bond. You get what I'm saying? Like that friend auntie bond. Like, I trust you. Now you're trying to do the most right now. You're trying to do the most. So I. So she got me to trust her. Now my grandmother know. Because mind you, this day she was with my grandmother. I didn't even know she was with my grandmother until after the fact. So. Me and my cousin would post a video and stuff like that. Having fun. This lady screenshot. My aunt screenshot it all. The pictures I posted, everything. And at that time, I had a little honey. I I trusted her to tell her that. Like, first of all, I'm in high school. I'm allowed to like people. You know, I'm allowed to. My mom just didn't want me to have a boyfriend. He wasn't my boyfriend. We was honestly just flirting. I'm glad I didn't make that with my boyfriend anyway. Now, I'm not telling you, she's getting shot at everything. Mind you, her and my mom not cool at this time. Remember, it's still not cool. So boom, she told my grandmother, like, nah, not smoking, whatever like that. A couple days passed. I say like a week. I get a call from my mother. She like, nah, nah. Be honest with me and tell me the total truth. I'm I'm on a house phone, mind you, I'm gonna go. I'm on a house phone, like, what you mean? Like, she was like, Are you speaking to your aunts? I told her no. Cause how does she know that? You get what I'm saying? I'm not about to snitch myself out. So I said no. She said, are you lying to me? I said, no. I'm dead ass lying. I'm like, no. And this whole time I got my laptop out on Facebook, on Messenger. Because I feel like she told. So, she was like, grandma just said. My mom like to pay manipulation. Like, she like to say something so you could tell her something that she don't know. But make it seem like she knows type thing. So, I ain't tell her nothing. Huh. Hey. Hey. You know, grandma called me and asked me, like, you should talk to Navaya, you know, ask her what's going on with her. And my mom is like, what you mean? Like, what you mean? My daughter's fine. And my daughter was like, no. I heard, you know, she was smoking. You know, my grandma wasn't trying to snitch on me. But she snitched on me. And my mom like, my daughter's smoking? How? Like, she's always in the house. She never get the... So, my, so right there, I'm texting my aunt, cursing her out. Why would you tell my mom? Da, da, da. She like, what are you talking about? Girl, I play stupid. <laughs> Dude, I play stupid. You know what I'm talking about. She talk about some girl, what you talk about. You know what I'm talking about. You the only one I knew, honey. You the only one I knew in the family that knew I smoked. Come on now. You and my other aunt, and I know the other aunt is quiet. She don't talk. You the loud one. You the, you the glass up one. I knew you told. Because you the one that knew I went to my cousin's house. You the only one I knew I went to my cousin's house and I'm smoking. You already knew. Right? Boom. I thought she had told my mom, but she had told my grandmother. And my grandmother told my mom. But I don't care. You should never told nobody. That was between me and you. So I balked on her, y'all. I went crazy on her. Black on her. She, me and her going at it. Now she talk about some. Oh, I'm your aunt. Don't talk to me like that. No, I don't care. No, I don't care because I told you something that was confidential. Why didn't you been say something? You try to do it out of spite because you're not talking to my mom. That's why you did it. Yeah. No. I'm not. I'm not messing with you. You're a snake. You're really a snake. So. 
Nu har jag, nu har jag berättat det. Så om, om sex är här. Kod my grandmother. Mind you, my grandmother on the phone with my mom. My mom and my grandmother merged into a three-way. Didn't tell her that my mom was on the phone. So in a way, that was like, you know, it wasn't trying to tell my mom, but you know, she on, she on the phone with my grandmother barking at her. Why would you tell Priscilla? It's my mom's name. Why would you tell Priscilla that now that I spoke it, da -da, now she mad at me, talking to me crazy, da -da -da. Now, mind you, my mother don't know I have social media again. So my mother, like, my mother calls me right there, never higher. You texting your aunt? I'm like, no. She's like, stop lying to me. You're texting your aunt. You're saying that lying in my face. I'm like, hmm? I saw her. Now she know I got Facebook. She know all of this, y'all. All of it. Now she know everything. Like, everything came out. Y'all, I was so scared for her to come home because I knew she was going to be my ass. That's crazy. My mom just sent me something on Instagram. That's mad crazy. Anyway, she asked me, she like, you smoking? Truthfully, I told her yes. I didn't even lie about that because I knew she already knew. Like, she asked all these questions. I know she already know. So I told her, yeah. She like, how are you smoking? Mind you, I'm not the type of person to snitch. So I was telling my mom, like, at school, school, school. Like, I was lying on but I'm a spiteful type person, so once I knew she was snitching, her and my mom was on the phone going back and forth, da -da -da. I told my mom right there, she was the one supplying it. She's the one giving me the weed. She gave it to me at your birthday party slash housewarming. Yeah, because you want to tell on me, I'm going to tell on you, baby. You want to play this game and you a grown-ass woman? I am back. My next girl sit there and lie. Say she wasn't supplying it, baby. So how got hot at it? How we got hot at it? I got footage of me hot smack off my ass. You supply it. Don't lie. Don't lie, boo. Do not lie. I got messages. Don't lie, boo. But mind you, I'm not gonna show her messages because of what I was saying. Mind you, I was barking on her. And my mother was like, don't disrespect your aunt. But it's the difference because she wasn't my aunt when all this was going down. I just felt like she should have been an aunt from the jump. Because then I would have never got that personal with her and I would have never told her certain things. She texted my mom, like, do you know what your daughter's been doing behind your back? Sending her pictures of the boy I was messing with, y'all. She sent her the pictures of me high off my ass with my cousin. All that. All that, y'all. She sent everything. I did not talk to her again. Still to this day. Not for that reason, still. Because I forgave her. She still did snake shit. But my mom, she took out my belly piercing. She took all my clothes, my sneakers, everything, y'all. I have shit. She took my brand new coat. She took everything, everything away from me. Everything. Like, she really betrayed me, like, like some snake shit. And I still smoke. I smoke every day. Cause I'm still, I am smoke every day. But I get tired. Hmm. <laughs> it was on some spiteful shit. Like, it was just really broke me, like, I never trust, I could never trust her again. I would never be cool with her again because you really snaked me out and I thought you was my man. I thought you were my uncle. And I just feel like she tried to play auntie so later on and she can't be an aunt to me ever again now. Because she tried, she tried it. She tried it, y'all. She told my mom I was smoking with my mom. So my mom beat my ass. Dad. She took out my belly piercing. I won't fuck with you again. I just won't. She lied about giving me weed. So she can look good in my mom's eyes and everybody's eyes. You should have thought about it, sweet. You didn't have to supply weed for me. You could have knew I smoked, kept your mouth shut, and left it alone. Period. She ain't do that. She ain't do that. She probably gonna watch this video. Because all my family is subscribed. But I don't care, because that was some snake shit, you knew it, because you was crying to me, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, later on. And I didn't say no name. She can't sue me. And I haven't spoke to her in months. Months, really. I'm doing good. Living good, eating good, feeling good. Yeah.
my father not smoke now, my mom not smoke. I told both of them. My dad don't care because he's smoking. My mom is more like, ah. Scared really do nothing about it. I'm grown. I work. I do what I got to do for me. So, everybody could really say nothing now. But back then, my mom could whip my ass. I think that was like last year. Last year, something like that. I hope y'all enjoyed this seafood mukbang. I hope y'all understood what I was saying and enjoyed the story time. We're going to end this video off right here. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. I will be getting back consistent. Y'all, I promise. I know I'll be saying that every video, but I really got to get on my shit. I really was like, I'm going to make a video today and I really set up and made the video. Like, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification so y'all get notified whenever I post a new video. And I love you guys so much. On the road to 2K. We gonna get there, I know so. Do I forgive her? Yeah, I forgive her, it's over now. Like, I don't really care about it now. I just had to tell a story how I was telling that back thing because I was tight, tight, dread. I got my belly pit, my belly pit set and I still, my belly pit is still gone till this day. I gotta, I gotta get it repaired. But I love you guys and I'm out. Peace.